right, you ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye, and welcome to a game called What Never Was. It just popped up on my timeline a while ago, and it looked neat. It looked like a fun little puzzle game. I've played some stuff like this before, where you're like a gone home type of game, where you're just kind of in one room, and you're exploring, and you're discovering all about this character. But when this one popped up, I was a little interested in it, and then I went to Steam. It's a free-to-play game, but it has overwhelmingly positive reviews. And if something is overwhelmingly positive on Steam, that's usually something to, worth taking note of. So I decided, why not? Let, let's give it a shot. It's apparently pretty short, like 15 to 30 minutes, so... We'll see what happens. Why hey, not? Mom, where are you? Wait, what? So you're not coming? But I'm already here. I know, but mom, don't we owe it to grandpa to- <clears throat> Yeah, I know, it's just- What? You can't sell the clock? Grandpa's had that for years. Okay, okay, whatever, it's fine. I can just start clearing out my boxes and then, I don't know, we can come back tomorrow and do the rest? Yeah, Your mom sounds like a minion on the other side of the phone. So Grandpa died? I'm really going to miss you, Grandpa. Alright. Let's do this. Let's do what? Okay, whoa, holy god, that's bright. Jesus, it's like, is it daylight? Good morning! Good morning indeed. So, I've played- I can't remember the name of the game. Where I went- I was in some girl's room. And we were going through her stuff, trying to figure out what to do. Ah, God, it's- I- I can exactly remember the room, the bed was here, and the window was over here and stuff, but I can't- I just can't remember the name of the game. But that's kind of what this reminded oh. me of as well. Oh, Grandma's cello. So this is where it ended up. Oh. Oh, Grandma's cello. Oh, Grandma's cello. So this is where it ended- I really wish I knew if that was in tune or not. Oh, so you can left click to listen. Like the the exposition about it, and then you can right click to actually play the instrument. So that's interesting. It's a magnifying glass for magnifying things. Wow. Okay. Oh, Grandpa's old travel diary. Seems like a few pages are missing. Okay. I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. All right. Oh God. We can interact with every single drawer. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Hey guys, do you think that these are open? It's it's locked. 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 Wait, are they? It's locked. Oh, wait, maybe this one. It's locked. Hmm, I don't know. The uh, the fifteenth time's the charm. Is this one open? It's locked. Damn, it's locked, guys. Maybe this one is open. It's locked. No, that one's locked too. Well, Last chance saloon. Maybe that the last drawer that's on this entire thing is actually going to be open. It's locked. Damn, it's locked as well. Hey, this one's open. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's closed. An open desk drawer. An open desk drawer. An open desk drawer. Sure is. I really don't like that I can keep clicking the same lines over and over again. I have always loved the British countryside. It's a shame to be stuck in here on such a nice day. Yeah. It is a shame. Look at those houses! Wow. Well, I wouldn't be too concerned about going outside, like the world ends over there, so... It's probably better that you're in here. Nice! Uh, it's going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like his books. He sure did. Okay, I'm gonna I'm turn yeah. you off because it's... Enough of that. Yeah, exactly. Alright, god, we can interact with freaking everything. This seems to belong to the diary. Oh, you picked up a journal page. It seems no coincidence that both the resting place of Pele and Paracaca... Pariacaca, I don't know. Do I look like I know what that is? Would happen to be in mountains. The trek has gone well. And although the winds are ominous, my clothing and necessities have carried me well so far. The guide I hired upon arrival have proved invaluable. Okay, that's bad English. Not only in his knowledge of the thick forest, but also for his rich knowledge and his company. Um, not unexpectedly, the symbol of water could be found at the peak of the summit, along with the alchemic symbol for water. 
Again, these symbols seem interconnected, and while one set are alchemic symbols known to many people, the other seem strange and have no cultural design that at least I am knowledgeable of. The encounter on Hawaii makes me certain that the other two elements must bear significance as well. What will I find on this mountain? God, look at it. This is making my eyes go wonky. The the white and black text. Fairies by Brian Froud and Alan Lee. I'm only here to pick up my stuff, but maybe I'll grab this later. Oh. Could this be one of the diary pages? Boom, bitches! Ulfsen. Also sometimes known as troll stones, the subject of Scandinavian folklore. Normal rocks with holes in them the size of an acorn were considered lucky, otherworldly, and useful. Hung from the necks of livestock, it would protect them and their farmers alike from malicious predators, trolls, and even incubi. In some tales, the owner of a true elf sten is also able to see the otherwise invisible common troll through the hole of the rock. That's cool. I want one of those. While several of these were on display, only one of them looked to be the one I was looking for. Carved in a way that no average jeweler, that no average jeweler could, and with ore in place of where a hole should be. I didn't- oh god, this dust, I thought it was a ghost. I didn't acquire it through the most honest of means, but no one came to harm, and I'm sure its disappearance won't be noticed. I do wonder how it fits into all of this, though. I must study it thoroughly. Okay. Wee. What a globe. Huh. Grandpa sure had some cool stuff that I've never seen. Like a globe! Hey, this is that goddess thing mentioned in Grandpa's diary. Oh, okay. These can be pushed. Oh. Ah, uh, shoot. So I have to get them in the right order? Play me. Hello. This is Howard James Wright with a message for my granddaughter, Sarah Elizabeth Wright. So if anyone else is listening, they can start off immediately, please. Sorry. <laughs> we gotta go. Sarah, if you are listening to this, then it means, well, it means I'm gone. But I don't want you to be too sad about it. That's just the way life goes sometimes. So, chin up, my little pixie. Remember our grand moments. All the adventures we had when you were a little one and I wasn't such a cranky old man. <laughs> I, I know you have questions for me. It's true I kept secrets from you and your mother. But there were good reasons. There are things in this world greater than ourselves, and I needed to protect you from them. I didn't want either of you to face the dangers that I've had to... <sighs> I never wanted to place such a burden on your shoulders, but now it... it's unavoidable. Pixie, I need your help, but I can't just tell you. I have to show you. You will need to see for yourself. Hmm. This world is full of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river, in every breath of wind and every dancing flame, all you have to do is look. Goodbye, Sarah. I love you very much. Oh. Granddad! Goodbye, Grandpa. Hey, Nintendo 64! Oh man, my old A station. I spent hours <laughs> playing games on this thing. My old A station. Hey, Mr. Piggles. Damn, the adapter's missing. Probably for the best. I wouldn't get anything done today if I started playing. It's a landscape painting of Whittington. I am not taking this with me right now. Hmm. It's a landscape painting of Whittington. I'm not taking this with me right now. My grandfather's grandfather clock. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a... <laughs> there is no way I can pick this up. Oh, come on. Try. It's locked. It's locked. Dear Diary. Jackpot. A typewriter. Celtic myths and legends. 
It's a chessboard with the game already in progress. This is... I don't know if other people really like this stuff. It's always been like a pet peeve of mine in games like this. I know it's a game where you explore and you get um, context and you get some exposition and stuff from the environment, but it's always a pet peeve of mine where you have stuff like... Can't imagine it's been used much. Oh. Grandpa was always the fountain pen type. Well, that's better. The fact that there's more dialogue to it, but the other ones where it's like, it's an open drawer, it's an open drawer, it's an open drawer, that kind of stuff just irks me. New page. Journal page one, so these are the symbols that we have to get. I finally landed on Hawaii and will soon begin my arduous climb of Mauna Loa. I'm not much of a climber, but I'm filled with determination. Epic Undertale style. I will, however, first take some days to recuperate from the very tiresome travel from which my fear of flights did not exactly improve. Not only was the pilot rude and dismissive of safety protocol, he also seemed completely unsure at times of what he was doing. Eh, not a good pilot. Regardless, I am here and will spend the coming days in the village of Pahala, whatever secrets Pele, the goddess of fire, holds, it is now within my grasp. I have definitely reached the right place. Although I am weary from travel, I am too excited to sleep. The villagers are friendly, but warn me of hurting, cons cu of hurting customs, something I have no intent to do. I have also noticed the al alchemic symbol of fire etched over people's doorways. It connects to Pele, of course, but it is linked to the crest. I've saw it as well. Or is it? Okay, so we have three of them. We have one and two, so we need to get the rest of the pages. Whoa. This looks like it belongs in a museum. A museum? Um, where would these other pages be? Page, oh page, where can you be? These books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George Lucas? Star Wars man? Oh god. Oh god, I got stuck. Jesus. Nah. I don't feel like reading up on kings, countries, or history right now. That's fair enough. The key. It's a small, simple key. Maybe it fits the desk. Aha! Wait. Oh wait, I can't do it anymore, can I? Dang it! I was hoping I could get the. L it's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. <laughs> Oh, an old photograph found in Grandpa's desk. It says, Sultan Hassan Mosque Madrasa, Egypt 1966. Must have been from one of his trips. Okay, we have number four. All I've worked for, or all I've worked for, it's here. I know it. The necklace in the temple in China made all the difference. And now, I'm finally in Africa, hoping to set the burning sensation of curiosity to peace. The symbols line up and my calculations were correct. The anonymous mail I received helped on a grand scale, but I still have not managed to figure out the sender. Regardless, the last piece of knowledge should be here, in Egypt. And after having evaded my guide, I have now found the symbols. It's time. Time to learn what is behind all these strange connections and events. Interesting! Okay, so we're missing one of them, right? Whoa. A pretty fancy looking compass. That's a really nice... binocular. Monocular. Monocular? Um, this will be perfect for my next sail across the seven seas. But I'll leave it where it is for now. <laughs> you know, the next time I go out there on the water, I just love to fish. Okay, so we got all the journal pages, it seems. The alchemic symbol of Earth combined with the Chinese one. While a trip has yet again gone well and my research has once again led me to these symbols, I can draw no conclusion. I have spent most of my life researching these mythological connections, yet again, I reach my destination and nothing. Almost as if this is all an extremely elaborate prank. I sometimes wonder if my daughter is right. Months, nay years of planning, only to eventually find a temple or shrine with another symbol, another riddle, and another clue. However, at the same time, it feels like I am so close to finding summit... Something... Oh, I'm so close to finding summit. Ooh. Huh. This tin box, it's locked. Hmm. Oh, wait, could I... Oh, I could press Z all this time! To zoom in! Z for zoomies! I'm coming to you next, clock! What's that? 
I hate the outdoors. <laughs> um, all right, so I need a code for this. Afron. It's locked. Afran. It's locked. Africa. Okay, so there's only a certain amount of words that I can actually write. Okay, any words here that I could use? I don't know. Um, let's just let's keep searching around. I should have the symbols now, right? Um, we go from fire, water. Earth. That. <laughs> um, fire, water, earth. This thing. And then whatever's left. So, fire? That doesn't seem to be it. What did the message say again? Oh, do I actually have to... Oh, I can process of elimination this. No, that's not it. Oh, okay. No, that's not it. Okay. So now I have it, right? This one. This one. This one. And this one. Yeah. Boom, baby! We're genials! This looks like... Is this a second part of my necklace? Sure is. Oh, God. <gasps> it's the stone! Whoa! The Elfson! So now I can see things through it, right? Whoa. Oh. Serious whoa. That's cool! Oh, I can just press V and hold it up. Oh, wait, does it tell me? Oh! Does it just shine on any letters, though? No, it doesn't. It's locked. Pixie! Oh, that's sweet! That was his nickname! Whoa, fancy key. Is this the key for the clock? <laughs> oh, ding dong, my friend! Okay. Okay, I opened it. Oh wait, I have to put the things on. Uh It's stuck in place. It's stuck in place. It's stuck in place. It won't budge. It won't budge. Okay. This is the only one I can move? I I don't I don't I probably it won't budge. I don't get it. It won't budge. Weren't these triangles in the journal pages? Okay, yeah. Good to know. Good to know. Um so this one The alchemic symbol of Earth combined with the Chinese one. Yeah, so this one should go over the tree. Okay, keep going. Keep going, keep going. This clock hand is a triangle facing inwards with a line through it. Yep. I probably- it won't budge. It won't budge. Okay, so I have to- a triangle facing inwards, so maybe that's- that one then goes into the tree. So what does the other triangle go on? Where did we see another one? That doesn't have a line through it. Oh, I can actually do this. Sweet. Uh... I thought it was that one, but it doesn't seem like it goes on the tree. Okay. I get it, I get it, I get it. So, the regular triangle, okay. The regular triangle is on fire, pointing in. So where is fire? Fire is up here. It won't budge. No, wrong one. Oh wait, no, this is the triangle pointing out. I need the triangle pointing in. Right? There's a lot to take in! Uh, triangle pointing... No. No, I'm wrong. 
Um, it is that triangle. Okay. Around you go! I wish it would tell me if I had them in place. Like it would just go like dong or click or something. Um, so water and the other one. So the triangle facing in is water. Okay. And water is here. And then the last one should be that. I probably need to select the clock hand somehow. Please work, please work, please work. Was that it? <laughs> did I do it? You sure did, thank God. Well, because if that didn't work, I was all out of ideas. What's happening? No, 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 no. Did we get sucked into the clock? Are we going to Narnia? Or Scandinavia? That was the first time I traveled by magic. Pulling at the thread that would unravel my grandfather's mysteries. I so wish he told me sooner. So we could have gone on at least one adventure together. Instead, I went on his adventure. The one that never was. But that is a longer story. For another time. Okay, that was it. What never was. Oh, that was cute. I could have done with a whole lot more of it. Um, I mean, I knew it was going to be short, don't get me wrong. Oh. Oh, just goes back to the menu. Um, I, I knew it was going to be short and I knew there wasn't going to be like a crazy amount of gameplay or anything in it, but I like that. I was really drawn in. Um, I would, I'd love, it sounds like they're going to make more and this is just kind of like a test to gauge people's interest or get something out there. Which, I would love a whole game like this. I, I want to know more about the lore. I want to do some little puzzles like that. It was fun, for what it was. Um, some of the voice acting got a little repetitive at times. I feel like if if you click on something that has a voice line, you should be able to click on it again. Because as a player, it also feels like once I click on the thing and I get the piece of dialogue out of it, it's like, okay, now I can't interact with that thing again. Now I know to move on. But when you can continuously interact with a bunch of stuff, it makes it feel like I'm not finished with that object, but then you get repetitive voice lines. It's like, okay, am I? Kind of thing, if you know what I mean. Um, but overall, very, very cool. I, li I like that a lot. The environment was nice, the music was nice, the voice acting, even though I said it, it got a little repetitive, the voice acting itself was actually good. So I like that. And I like the, the little intrigue that was going on. The fact, like, it actually felt like there was a whole lot more than just the little story that I told here that the dad I, or the granddad went on. A bunch of adventures that you're gonna go on one next as well. I would love a whole game like this. Um, like a good couple of hours a game of just going around and solving puzzles and everything. Be super fun. Um, but that is What Never Was. You can play it for yourself on Steam. It's free. Uh, I don't know what else there is to get out of the game uh, if you play it yourself, but maybe you can go around the environment and click on different pieces and get more dialogue and get more out of it than what I showed in this video. But I, the developers made something cool, and I, I want to support that, and I want to show it off to the world, and I hope that they... I hope that... One of my hopes with doing YouTube is that... Because the audience on this channel is so large, that we can play a game like this, some people will have intrigue in it, and people will go looking for it more. It'll raise the developer's sort of, um... Awareness for people around the internet, and then it allows the developers to go further and make cooler, bigger, better things all the time, because more people know about them. And if we can do that with this channel, that would be absolutely marvelous. Um, so hopefully something else comes out of these developers or a bigger game comes out, so. I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about this. I don't know anything about the people who made it, so maybe they do have plans and I just haven't read up on it, but very interesting. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face! Like a pause! And... I face all road. Whoosh! Whoosh! Thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes! That time I thought I had to sneeze and then it didn't happen. What never was.